guys good morning welcome back to the channel we're doing a little day in the life i haven't vlogged in a minute um i think since miami maybe um i'm back i've been back home for like a month um i have my little latte i just made in the morning i do like the fair life on my milk espresso same thing um and i'm off the 75 hard i finished the 75 hard a couple like almost a week ago um but i still pretty much do everything not everything like i don't cold plunge every day um and I don't do two workouts every single day, but like my goal is to still get outside and do walks when I can. Um, but in the mornings, I still have the same routine. So I'm reading this book called Atomic Habits. You'll probably have heard of it. It's a very, very, very popular book by James Clear. It's so good. It reminds me a lot of the one I started 75 Hard Reading, but that one is more of like a Christian version of this. Um, but my friend had this and so I'm reading it and I really like it. I'm already on like part three. Like I read more than 10 pages a day now. <laughs> um, it's really good. And then I still do my journaling and my Bible. Because I'm still doing like a Bible in a year plan. So I'm trying to stick to that. Um, I've gotten a little off track. But I'm going to try to like get caught up. Because the form that I was following, I, it wouldn't load and I couldn't find it. And then with traveling and stuff, um, I just couldn't stay as focused when I was reading it. So I'm like, I'd rather just read small bits that I can understand. Rather than like pushing through three chapters and not retaining anything. Um, so I just slowed down a bit on it. But that's that. Anyway, I'm going to do all this now. All right, it's 9 o'clock. I just finished reading, journaling, all that kind of stuff. Made a post on my broadcast channel. From my heart to your heart um, on Instagram, if you guys are like familiar with broadcast channels. I don't know why I've never started one because I'd love to chat. I'd love to give you guys advice, tips, all of it, everything. Um, and so I'm really excited. So if you guys have enjoyed that, join that. You can literally join it through my profile. Um, but I'm going to try to post on there every day. Just a little like tip insight whatever uh, but i did that reading took a little bit longer because my parents are in town right now as well um they were around this morning so we just like got chatting and stuff but they just left for the afternoon in the morning um and i just made some breakfast again protein oats every single day pretty much without fail um kind of been on a peanut butter smoothie cake because they've been out of brown sugar oatmeal but they've restocked so it's in stock now definitely prefer that one i definitely prefer brown sugar oat over peanut butter but this is probably my second favorite and i added almond butter i was feeling almond butter usually i'm peanut butter but like i just one day i or I just prefer one over the other usually every morning today was an almond butter day the one from sam's club is really good and then just some fresh raspberries and a little bit of blueberries so i'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna record a podcast today i'm really excited i didn't record one last week because my brother came to town my mom came to town last monday it's Thursday the 21st today. My mom came to town last Monday, so like nine days ago, 10 days ago. And then my brother, my dad, and his girlfriend, not my dad's girlfriend, my brother's girlfriend, my brother, and my dad came to town last Thursday. They were in town until Monday, and then my parents are in town until Sunday. So I've had people here for like ever. Um, and I've just been really, really present with family and friends and stuff recently. Like that's just kind of the season of my life that I'm in. I'm also still very motivated, inspired, and have so many things like working right now but a lot of those things are due to the relationships in my life and the friendships that i have and those wouldn't be possible these opportunities and stuff wouldn't be possible without them and so i guess it's just really taught me like the power of community and people in your life and i just pour into them a lot more and so pouring into them is just taking away a little bit of time from like my work which i still want to pour into you guys and i do as much as i can but with family in town it was my brother older brother's first time visiting here um, so I just was really present with them and it was such a fun weekend and I just didn't get around to podcasting So I was gonna have them on the podcast, but we'll just have to do that virtually um, We just didn't have time and yeah, the vlogs are just a little crazy because I don't know I just don't love vlogging around my family just and it's nothing to do with them They like totally support it, but it's like I'd rather just be present and then just show you guys like my day-to-day, -day, you know um, So yeah, that's kind of what that whole deal is about. We'll be more regular. We'll be more consistent Especially to when family like leaves town. I'll be like on the grind but again, I have so many things going on all the time. Like I have so many exciting stuff. So much exciting stuff happening right now. One of them, this set, if you're wondering, is Young LA, which I'm officially working with them now for the next few months to like kind of try it out. And I'm so excited. So I'll link all the products down below. They have a drop coming next week. Um, I'll probably upload this on like Monday. And I think the drop is that. The drop is dropping. 26th so like five days from now so when you guys see this it'll be probably very soon after that you can use code chloe to save 15 percent off this set's already launched um but i have some of the lounge pieces and stuff that you'll probably see on my insta that are dropping but anyway your support and like code usage supports me more than you know especially in like the beginning stages of working with the brand um 
it really, really supports me in my ability to continue working with them and stuff. Um, so yeah, I appreciate it so much. Um, and yeah, anyway, that's enough rambling. I just have so much to catch you up on because I haven't chatted or seen y'all in forever, but my oats are oating. They look amazing. I'm going to eat these and then get ready, record my podcast, go to the gym. I also have a meeting for a really special, secret, exciting project. Ah, it's also, oh, please ignore. Please ignore the almond butter on my sweatshirt. But I want to tell you, I... Oh, my last vlog was a Sunday of my life. So you guys have heard about this. So now we're like on day... 12 of this maybe 10 12 um of my parasite cleanse so i'm currently taking the scram supplement i got these at all the sprouts um this is an herbal healthy microbiome balance supplement um it works and then i take a an intestinal movement formula supplement so this is essentially like a natural laxative it kind of makes sure things are moving and grooving because what the scram does is it kills the parasites they come they have to exit somewhere well i don't want them just to sit and rot in my intestines so i take intestinal movement to make sure it floods out of me and charcoal acts as like a way to kind of like essentially i describe it as like a, a broom it's like sweeping the stuff through me so like parasites come make sure we're getting it going with like the intestinal movement and then the charcoal helps to like rid everything you just like sweep it clean get it out of me it works it works i'm not gonna go into too many details but it works and i feel great also there's a lot of different factors like i am off my period out of my luteal phase i'm like feeling good and my body's feeling good but i'm a lot less bloated i feel less fatigued um one of the parasites oh do i want to give you guys tmi yeah i will whatever i had a tapeworm I did, that's disgusting. I vomit, pass out, freaked out, panicked a bit, um, but I'm glad it's out of my body. Um, but there's a good chance you probably have one, I don't know. Um, disgusting, okay, disgusting. But tapeworms affect like cravings and your appetite. Like essentially the parasites like feed off of sugars and stuff so it can affect my cravings and lead to me like, cra sorry, I have a Instacart order being shipped to Jake and my special with someone. They're doing uh, this whole weekend, it's like a four day event with Tony Robbins and they're like stuck hunkered down at their apartment together and it's literally like over 12 hours a day. They did not go shopping, so I Instacarted them a bunch of food. Um, anyway, so I'm making sure that my Instacart guy is not messaging me about product. But this, I pooped out a tapeworm, I did. And <laughs> I feel a lot better. I don't know if it's placebo, but I don't think it can be, guys. Like literally, stuff exited my body okay it's it was in there and now it's not and i'm feeling better um and yeah i do think that my cravings are like more controlled and my appetite is more controlled um there's a lot of benefits to it less like inflammation and stuff which i also feel like i feel less inflamed i feel i like deal with a lot of inflammation um and a lot of it reverts back to my diet but again if i have freaking parasites flooding my entire insides that's probably going to be a factor so um yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm doing my thing. I'm kind of terrified to eat sushi because I was literally cooking beef. We were cooking beef together, me and him, and we literally found a parasite in the beef from Costco. And it's like organic beef. Like it was like still high quality beef. Uh, freaking parasite. I said, yeah, I think how many of those I've probably eaten in my life. It's disgusting. Um, pork's really high in parasites. Yeah, raw fish is really high in parasites. Uh, scary stuff like that. Um, I do need to take them though. So I take five of these in the morning. I take ten of these a day. Take five in the morning. One of my secret talents is I can take like a lot of vitamins at once. Like I just swallowed five pills. In the intestinal movement. I'm not going to lie. I was a little scared to use this. At first, the first few days I feel like were the worst with this. Because it was really just cleansing my body. Because... I hadn't taken it, like I haven't like cleared the system like that in a minute. But now it's better. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna like poop my pants or anything. It's just like, woo, yep, you go. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the charcoal, the activated charcoal, I don't take it for like 10 to 20 minutes. Essentially I went back to like get through my system a little bit, it starts to digest a little bit, do its thing. And this comes in a little later to like process the rest. Um, I just sometimes I for, almost forget to take this, but I've been pretty good about it. Anyway. That is that. That's the update on my parasite cleanse. I definitely will be doing that twice a year. Um, technically, too, I was informed that it's the best to do it with like the cycle of the moon phases. I don't really know. 
um, certain parasites become active at certain times too and it's very new to me. If you guys know any more information on it, definitely do your own research. He syncs his up with like the cycles of the moon, like a full moon, which I'll do that again, but I'll probably do mine in like six months. So like the seasons change, it's spring. So I'm doing, I'll probably do it in fall. Um, but now we're gonna go get ready because it's time to podcast. Anyway, I'm so excited for this podcast because like I said, I took a break and now I'm like very motivated. I'm very excited um, to chat because I've had a lot of like realizations, a lot of just like good stuff. I'm using Jake's bathroom to get ready too because I did it yesterday. He has the master. If you guys didn't know, you probably didn't know. I need to get the almond butter off me before I podcast. Um, he has the master, so he's a freaking massive bathroom and I'm jealous when we utilize it because he's gone for the weekend, so I'm moving in. <laughs> Just kidding, kind of not really though. Makeup tutorial, just kidding. Honestly, my routine has really not changed at all. Um, other than the fact, no, I'm lying. Like literally nothing's changed. I'm excited for today. I've missed vlogging. I miss chatting with you guys. This is very like fulfilling right now to me. I'm like really excited. And I feel like it's gonna be a long vlog because I'm like really loving it. Also, my bronzer, you guys, I've had this bronzer for so long. It's probably like so spider, but it like crushed and broke and I'm so sad and little bits of it have exploded in my makeup bag and now it's completely covered in makeup. Super awesome. Anyway, oh, I didn't wash my face this morning. And that's all the way upstairs. Well, it's been drying the heck out of my face so I'm probably not gonna wash it right now because I washed it before bed and I've been washing it too much that like my eyes were literally like crusting over. I don't know. I didn't even, I meant to put this like right on my finger. What am I doing? focus and focus um but i started seeing an esthetician here love them um frost aesthetics if you're local really great i just think that i was used to like really like no skincare at all and then i all of a sudden went to like a two a day four or five product treatment and my skin like i don't have sensitive skin i don't have dry skin it didn't break me out or anything it just dried me out major because i was using these like oil wipes had some acid in it um to like reduce oil but i don't really have to have oily skin pretty much my foundation is just a moisturizer and this isn't even the moisturizer i use this is the one my brother uses but this stuff is good this brand la rouge posse posse i don't like that anyway and then I, yeah i just use drunk elephants bronzing drops slay like a 15 year old i don't really care a little concealer. I use Lancome's concealer. And then it's annoying me because I'm doing makeup now and then I'm going to go to the gym and sweat it off. But I have to do this for my podcast and all that. But I'm going to a rally tonight and rally is like my one event of the week. It's like my going out event, my socializing event, but it's church. <laughs> so I, like it's like a people dress to the nines. Like people get not to the nines, not like freaking fancy, but like streetwear, cool clothes. So you kind of got to like execute, you know, you got to get ready. It's fun too. I like it. Okay, there's my makeup for the most part. Now we got one of the bronzer. are. You guys, literally, like I have so many freaking exciting things going on right now. Like I, life is very, I'm very grateful. And I feel like God has given me so many blessings recently. Um. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of gratitude and happiness and joy and like obviously there's a lot of low moments and still like anxieties and stresses and worries but like the good outweighs the bad always and like I have trust in his plan but like I'm just really, life is just really freaking beautiful. Really just about the people in your life. Like when you find the right people it makes life so much more rich but it's a process. I find those people doesn't happen overnight. God will place them in your life exactly when you need and when it's right and when it's right for the both of you like and i'm not just saying like a significant other like also to like girlfriends and stuff um and like finding people like in your family like i actually adore my siblings like special somebody's or like girlfriends and stuff like that is the coolest thing ever my brother's in town with his girlfriend and they got together like right when i moved here so i only met her on christmas one time i absolutely adore it was so much fun um like just having that like sister like experience for me is really really cool um because i don't have any sisters <laughs> so i've always prayed that i get along and i know with most people but, like i've always wanted that like natural just like genuine real bond with like my brother's girlfriends and like having that like this weekend was like such a good freaking weekend like it was so good 
Why did I think I just saw something in that mirror? That scared the crap out of me. Your significant other gets along with your family. Like that is the most special freaking thing ever. And like Jake and my special little someone are like best friends. That is the coolest thing ever. And like they all got along so well with my older brother Anthony. And like Anthony's girlfriend got along well with like every like we all just literally merged and meshed so well. That's so rare, but like for me, family is like so freaking important. Like it's the most important thing to me. So like that working is the coolest thing. I gotta start wearing mascara more, y'all. I get lazy because I hate taking it off, but like I put it on, I'm like, wow, I have lashes. I do. Um, I'm just gonna kind of run my hair through the straightener. I feel like I'm going live right now. Do you have like these like chatty style vlogs, or do you like more of like a show and tell vlog? Cause I like chatting. So I'm probably be chatting more, but. I have exactly one hour to start my podcast, record it, film it, do all that. And then I'm in a meeting at 11 with, it's, I can't tell you about the meeting, but it's really exciting. Um, and my computer, my camera, my podcast camera, because I took photos on it last night, is at 7%. That's my own fault, but I didn't even think about charging it because I just assume she's always charged. I should never assume. I should never assume. Um, but anyway. My parents just left to go jeeping. This camera's dying. I'm a mess. Just learning to become comfortable being uncomfortable with ourselves. I have realized that my biggest critic, my worst enemy is my own self. Um, I'm very, I'm a fairly confident person and people would always be like, Chloe, you're so confident. You can do social media. I can talk to a camera. I can talk to you guys. I can take photos in public. I can vlog in public. Like that takes a lot of confidence within myself um, because I truly don't care what others think, but I care what I think so much. And that has stopped me from so so many things in my life it's really limiting me and i've really really realized how much of a negative impact it's making on my life okay 10 45 podcast is recorded and filmed and it went so good like that was a good episode y'all i ain't even gonna lie i was i was preaching not really but like i was giving some word it was a lot about well you just have to listen it was about kind of what i chatted about earlier um, and just how your biggest enemy is yourself and I have a lot of like self-limiting beliefs and Things and I'm getting better at being comfortable being uncomfortable with myself um, And just a lot of fun little tips and tidbits and y'all know um, But I have a meeting and I don't know where my laptop charger is I literally looked for it for like two hours the other day and I could not find it and I Not for a fact oh that my computer's dead oh now I'm stressed so. Y'all, I said a little prayer and I found my computer charger that I've been looking for all week. Literally since last week, it was in Jake's room. <laughs> Up along his bed, he stole it from me. But the St. Anthony prayer, you guys, it works. It works, it works, it works. Now I am having a meeting that started right now. Ah, I wish I could tell you more about it, but I can't. But let's just say it's something very freaking exciting and it's gonna be big. It's like a big deal. It's a long-term thing. Like. We doing something right now. I just can't tell you until it's like time, but we meet twice a week and then we talk about it and it's just so exciting. But, okay. I'm gonna hop on this call. It'll probably be about an hour. I'll update you, then I'm gonna make some lunch, go hit legs. Um, and I'm using some of that stir. It's like a natural meal because I'm have drink any water today. So. All right, ooh, my camera's a little crooked. I'm currently, I'm currently whipping up some lunch. It's 12.15, I'm gonna go to the gym after this so I can come home and hang out with my parents for a little bit. Um, and I'm watching this YouTube video. It's a sermon on men's needs and then there's like the reverse one on women's needs. I don't know if I'm gonna remember to link it because I'm really bad at that, but it's Union Church. It's um, what man, what men need pastor stefan chandler union church look it up it's so good um i'm only 15 minutes into it and it's really really good so if you're in a relationship or not like this would be beneficial i'm um, listening to this while i make lunch i'm making my like go-to i'll show you when i'm done but essentially it's a tortilla with beans ground ground turkey cheese and spinach and it's so freaking yummy and i'm gonna eat it with some chips and guac and then we're gonna go to the gym here is lunch. So I have some of those siete tortilla chips and some guac. Um, and then the tortilla with spinach, ground turkey, refried beans and cheese, hot sauce and some sour cream. When I say it's the most freaking delicious 
thing ever. I mean it. Like, add refried beans to everything. They're my obsession. I got a big pack at Costco because I eat them so much. I'm currently filming on what I eat in a day on TikTok, so. That's good. That is like the freaking yummiest thing in the whole world. Y'all need to try, okay? My eyes are watering, so it was so hot, but it's so freaking yummy. It's my new hyperfixation meal for sure. All right, guys, we are going to the gym now. I'm hitting legs, but I'm leaving from my house to go to the gym and leave from my gym. I'm gonna go where my brother and he's at. It's so hard not to say his name and slip up, but he lives near like rally the church that i go to in that area um and i have that tonight it's thursday um so i'm gonna like make my way because it's like my gym's like half like on the way there and so it just makes sense to go there so i'm gonna hang out with them for a bit in between um but i'm making my pre-workout so beam is launching pure pump it's a non-stim blue sour gummy which is their most popular flavor and they're making it into a non-stim pump so i'm freaking excited i've been using it for like all week i've been putting my friend on it too um, and I'm so excited. I'm also drinking this because I'm a little tired today. Honestly, I kind of got to bed late because we did a family dinner last night in Scottsdale and then got home and whatever. Um, and then I got up this morning kind of early. So I'm going to go to the gym. I have my stuff packed for rally. Actually, I need to go get it out of Jake's bathroom. And yeah, we're going to go smash a leg day and I'm quite excited. I didn't film at the gym um, because it was busy and I just don't like filming when I'm alone. Oh my gosh, you can't see me because of the lighting. But I just ran and grabbed dinner for Jake, me and him. Um, the boys got kava. They wanted kava. I've had kava twice this week. I can't do it again or I'll like, get sick of it. And I've always wanted to try Modern Market. It's a farm fresh eatery. I don't know. I got like this like mango chicken bowl. It sounded good. Um, so we'll see. I'll give you a review when I get home. But I need to get going because traffic is crazy right now. Okay, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to eat this. Feeling inside you is not comfortable. Or uncomfortable. Or Mark, well, I don't even know what's in it. I've been like, so stressed about that. I'm trying to order. I'm going to try. Just pick something. Someone stabbed oh, wow, me in really the back. Good. Well, I don't remember when they stabbed me. She stabbed me in the back. Sense. She destroyed my life. So, I'm going to be like, she stabbed you. Because here's what happens. We use language mm -hmm. like that. Good. The brain gets the signal as if it's true. Okay guys, I just, Jake actually decided to join tonight at Rally. Um, so we're going into Rally Rally. It's like our young adults night at a church in Scottsdale, Impact Church. It's so fun, it's so cool. Um, it's like a whole like event though. Like everyone like decks their outfits out and it's a she cool thing. Call. Yeah, um, but it is so fun. We're so excited. We're so excited, we're going We're a little ourselves. late though, but yeah. He had to stay back home and do his Tony Robbins thing. We started going alone though. Like, off the OG. This was. It's like back to our stomping around roots. Yeah. But fit check. Here, hold on. I'll give him a fit check. Oh. Zara. Zara fit. Zara fit. She's oversized. Oversized. And Jake's wearing his. Seek Jesus. Seek Jesus and his Janes. She tried to get me to wear my zebra. Yeezy he didn't like that. <laughs> He's like, that looks so dumb. But anyway, okay, I'm going to end this before I walk into like a thousand people. Remember the good old days, man? The biggest decision that you would make in a day is which cereal you were going to eat in the morning. Come on, I kind of threw a shout out what you were eating. One, two, three, go. <laughs> no, and like, you can't scream because you don't want anybody to hear you, but you're in the bathroom and you're in the stall and you're like... <laughs> and then you walk back to class and you're like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody else, you're lying. Okay? Dude, your first love, man. Like you remember, you remember the feeling when you would see them, right? Like, like it, it was like it was like weird. It was like weird to hug, and so like you would like give them a high five, but it would be like a long high five. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, have a good day. Right? Your first love, your first love, man. I'm just trying to, to get you to remember how it felt when you first fell in love. I, I, I was writing this, I was like reminiscing of my relationship with my wife. Okay guys, it's super late. I just got home. Um, well, it's 11, I got probably home at like 
um, 10.45 and then my parents had lunch over a barbecue. They must have ordered out tonight. So, and I was hungry, so I ate some of that. And then I ate some bunnies. <laughs> some Annie's bunnies, because I'm a hungry girl. And now I'm trying to wind up her bed. You guys, I don't have any freaking cotton pads to remove my makeup, because I usually like take off my makeup with my cellar water. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I just have to like use my face wash to clean my face. I hate doing that, I don't know why. But I'm gonna show you guys my new skincare. So it's the Zo Skin Health brand. I use the cleanser twice a day. Um, I use the oil control pads. These are what I think dried out my face too much though, so I don't use them every day now. The purifying mist, I like this stuff. Also, the, the moisturizer. And that's the lineup, but I gotta wash my face now. Makeup's off, I'm gonna use these tonight just because. And that's the skincare routine and now I just need to brush my teeth, get my jammies on, and get to bed. It's late and I got a big day ahead of me still to my exciting meeting, actually another one, um, about something that could be coming up potentially in, um, I don't know when actually, but you will not see it coming. It's really exciting, something I've never done before. Um, and then... So I'm meeting about that tomorrow. I'm gonna edit my podcast, edit this vlog. Me and my mom are gonna get our nails done. It's gonna be a little girl's day. I'm gonna go walk in Tempe at sunset with my parents because they leave Sunday and tomorrow's Friday. So the trips are winding up and I, don't, I won't probably see them for, it's March. I won't see them until June. So that's kind of sad. Um, and then we're gonna do dinner with my, me and my parents, just us three, because Jake's at the Tony Robbins thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is a Thursday of my life. Thursdays are my favorite days. Anyway, I love you, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next